Hello there, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. And today I have my very long awaited vlog sale. <laughs> I have finally, finally stopped procrastinating and decided to sell some of my luxury goods. I have decided what I'm going to sell. I know I've talked about this for a long time, but finally, finally, I have decided to let some things go. If you guys watch my channel, you'll know I really, really don't like selling things. I struggle to detach from them. I just don't like selling things. But, but I am trying to only keep in my wardrobe what I truly, truly love and use. And if I don't, I want to pass it on to someone who can get the use out of it. And also I am preparing for my very, very exciting upcoming Paris trip. And if there's things in my wardrobe that I'm just not getting their full use out of, I want to sell those on and free up some of that cash for what is going to be, going to be a financially dangerous trip to Paris. Ah, oh, I dread to see what's coming home from that. So I am finally here for you with my vlog sale. I have handbags, I have small leather goods, I have costume jewellery, yes, I have Chanel, I have Louis Vuitton. So without further ado, let's get into the video. I'm talking to myself in the camera. Why? <laughs> <laughs> now he has been with me all day and been with daddy for all of 10 minutes, but obviously he had to find us. Anyway, anyway. I will list all of the items that are for sale in the description box down below. I will list the price that I'm selling the item for and then obviously depending on where you are in the world and where it's going to be shipped to, if you could contact me then we can work out the shipping costs. I can either be contacted on Amelia Rose's closet at outlook.com which is my email address which is down below also in the description box or feel free to send me a DM on Instagram which is maybe even easier and we can talk about the sale on that platform as well. It will be first come first serve, so whoever comes and contacts me about the item and pays for the item will get the item. If anything doesn't sell, I will list it on consignment. I have sold via consignment before, but whenever I had mentioned previously that I was thinking of selling some of my items, a lot of you guys had said, would you give us a chance to buy it first? And I have no difficulty in letting my subscribers try and buy anything that you're interested in first. If it does go to consignment, obviously the consignment store will then add on their consignment fees and the fee will be that little bit more expensive. Now, I am a little bit weary about this because because I have watched Angelique's video and I have watched other videos of people doing vlog sales or getting scammed selling this way. So I am going to do the sales via bank transfer. I have spoken to a couple of the girls on YouTube who have done vlog sales before and I think if it's someone who is genuine about the sale that you will be willing to work with me on that and that's to protect us both. Obviously you're safe in getting your item. If I was to be any way dodgy you can very well find me here on the internet. So I know that your item will definitely be shipped to you. It will be exactly as it is described and it will be shipped securely and doing it by bank transfer is to try and protect me to make sure that there are no scammers out there. I am hoping that nobody on my YouTube community channel would be involved in that but you all know I already got scammed on eBay whenever I was buying a bag so I am a little bit cautious about it and that's how I'm going to try and do it just to try and protect us both. I will put the prices, as I've said, in the description box. I will put the description of what the item is in the description box. And if anybody's interested in buying any of these, just send me a DM on Instagram or an email and I can send you any more photographs or any information that you need before you would make your mind up about what is for sale. So with all of that boring, um, vital information out of the way, let's get into the vlog sale. And the first item that I have for sale is a piece of Louis Vuitton costume jewellery and it is the Louis Vuitton Essential V necklace in the pink gold colour. Now, I ordered this, I believe, around about last Christmas and we then went into lockdown on Boxing Day and didn't come out of lockdown until May. So I didn't get a chance to wear this. I had wanted it because I have the Louis Vuitton Essential V earrings which I love but unfortunately we then went into lockdown for so many months. I think I wore it once to film a video 
but my pochette Matisse then was faulty within that time and you will know if you've watched my channel that I replaced it with the Louis Vuitton Volt necklace which is the precious gold, they're fine jewellery and it has the little dime, diamond in it. Since I replaced it with this Volt necklace I haven't taken this off, I have worn this every single day which unfortunately means this Essential V necklace in the pink gold just hasn't been worn and I am deciding just to let it go because I know I'm not going, I, this is going, I wear this so much I'm not going to, I know I'm not going to wear this. So I think I've worn it once filming it is in excellent pre-loved condition. You will see that it has the little LV engraved on the front of it. It is the rose gold or the pink gold. It's just a very plain V and it has a rose gold chain and then it has this little extender on the chain that you can wear it at different lengths and the little plaque just says on it that it is Louis Vuitton made in France but obviously if anybody is interested in this I can send you photographs if you would like to know more about it and on the end of the little chain it has this little LV that hangs from it and this is in excellent pre-loved condition as I say if I've worn this once to film I think that is the only time that I have worn it and I have locked down to thank for that just um there we go so that's the first item that I have on my vlog sale today. Moving on to number two and sticking with Louis Vuitton and we will do small leather goods now. <sighs> Confession time. This is brand new. This is the key clay in the monogram canvas. It is Made in France, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see that, but it has made in France on the inside of it. It still has the canvas, or that still has the canvas. It still has the little card on the inside telling you what it's made of. It has the keychain on the inside attached to it, and the zipper hasn't been used. This is brand new. I have never used this, and if you're wondering how I can say that when I talk about using it, This is my one. This is the one that I use all the time. This stays in my bag. And yeah, this one's definitely used. That's my version. But this is my spare. Yes, this is my spare. As I have confessed to you before, I can be <laughs> a little bit addicted to the Louis Vuitton website. And when I saw this become available on the Louis Vuitton website, I bought it. Even though I have this one, which I use, I also have this in the Damier Abine. But I thought I would buy myself another spare in the monogram canvas. So this is absolutely brand new. It's never been used since it arrived. It has stayed in its dust bag. But I just, I don't need to be doing that. I just don't need to be doing that. I don't need to be buying spares of these small leather goods and keeping them collecting in my home. It's not like I live a lifestyle that I, where the two that I already have are gonna suddenly disintegrate, are gonna get so much wear that I'm gonna need this spare. But when I saw it on the website, because these are so hard to get and it came up on the website in the canvas, I just, before my brain even engaged, I just added cart and checked out and bought it. And I said in a previous video about items I'd sold by um, why other items I've done that with, I didn't stop. <laughs> I didn't stop. Crazy. But I, I don't need to keep these extra things. I just don't. And obviously at the minute as well, there is a real shortage of canvas. There's a real shortage of Louis Vuitton canvas goods. And I know a lot of you guys are looking for these items. And if you're going to buy them on the reseller route or the pre-loved route, you are paying an extortionate, extortionate price for them. They're selling at a very, very high premium. I think some of them are selling almost at double the price of retail. And I have spares sitting in my house. So... I am going to sell this and the other items that I have that are Louis Vuitton small leather goods that have been sitting. There's another one that's a spare. I will sell those at retail plus shipping obviously. So I will literally go on to the Louis Vuitton website. I will get the retail price in pounds. I will get the retail price in euro and I will get the retail price in USD and I will list it down below and that's what I will sell these for. I'm not looking to try and make a profit out of any of you guys who are subscribed or watch my channel. I'm not looking to be a reseller. 
I am simply now selling on to you brand new pieces that I had bought and kept as spares. But if I have the opportunity to try and let one of you guys get this at retail, I am more than happy to do that. So that is the first of these and there is another one coming up. And it is this and this is also a very hard to get sought after Louis Vuitton canvas piece, which again, whenever I saw on the website that this was available, Brian didn't engage, added to cart, checked out and kept it as a spare. Aha! And of course I am talking about the mini pochette in the Damier Abine. Now just in case anyone is cynical or is weary, here is mine. Here is the new one. So mine obviously has my items in it as you can see. This stays in my bag on a daily basis. So mine definitely is not brand new. This one definitely is brand new. This has been in its dust bag and kept as new since it arrived here. And it is really just me getting carried away on the website when it was available and deciding to buy it. Now, it is made in France for anybody that is interested. The key clay is made in France as well. It has the red interior, which is obviously in perfect condition because it hasn't been used. And it also has this little card with it. And this will come with the dust bag and the box. Both of these, the key clay and the mini pochette, which are brand new, will come with the dust bag and the box and also the receipt that comes whenever you order them online. I will send that on as well and just remove my private information. So that is number three. The last small other good that I am selling is this. <laughs> now, I have been back and forward and back and forward and up and down and round the town about this because I don't really want to sell it because it's pretty. That is the extent of the reason I don't really want to sell it because I like the print on it, but I have never used it. I bought this from a reseller, so this will be the price that this was. This is the 29, no, 2019 Christmas animation. It is the Vivian in v Venice. I was gonna say Vienna, Venice, obviously. It has the bright blue interior. It is also made in France. You can maybe see because it's against the blue and it has never been used since I got it. I also have the plain round coin purse, the older version, and that I use with coins in my bag on a daily basis, but I just never used this one. Now, had it been a mini pochette in the Venice print, maybe I would have kept it because I have a bad habit of collecting those. But this one, it's sitting there and it's doing nothing and it really just is going to waste. So I've decided I'm gonna let it go. If this doesn't sell, I don't think I'll be heartbroken. I don't even know if I'll send this to consignment, but I, if any of you guys are interested in it, I will let it go. Now, I bought this from a reseller. I bought this from Myrina, Myrina Fashion Lover on Instagram and I paid above retail for this. So if anybody's wondering why this is marked at slightly above retail, that is why. It is brand new. It had never been used whenever I bought it and it has never been used since I have owned it. I will send it. I still have the dust bag and the box and that's what it will come in. It also has the little code that came inside it from when it was first purchased. It has the little ticket and it has the price tag. Now you'll see that it was originally 375 USD. That's not what I paid for it. I will list, I will check exactly back in my messages what I paid for it and I will list down below what it was that I paid and I am asking what I paid for it. I am not trying to make a profit on it. I'm just trying to recover what I paid. Although I think because this was the 2019 Christmas animation, I think there have probably been a number of price increases since. So it may be that it's actually now at retail price and it's certainly not gonna be what I have seen them selling on the likes of Fashion File for. So this is the last of the small other goods that I have. Now we're moving into handbags and I am stupidly proud of myself for having decided to let some of these go, but I'm also really struggling still with the thought of selling handbag handbags. It's just not something I do, but let's do this quickly before I change my mind. We will start with Chanel. Did you ever think you'd see me selling Chanel? The first item that I am selling that is a handbag, well, I suppose it's a, it's a walk, it's a wallet on chain, is this absolutely beautiful, beautiful, beautiful hound's tooth walk and the only reason I'm selling this is you can see poking out 
here, if I can move my finger in the right direction, my Chanel 19 in exactly the same tweed. If you've watched my channel, you'll know that I bought this one whenever I couldn't find the Chanel 19, which I preach against, but I did it. And then the Chanel 19 came up very quickly after and I ended up with both. I never intended to have both. When they both arrived, I love them both and I was tempted to keep them both. And I said to you guys in a video, what do you think I should do? I was very, very tempted to keep them both because the walk is obviously a very different bag or different piece than what the Chanel 19 is. Every time I thought about selling one of them, I would try them on and be like, oh no, <laughs> not selling that because that's fabulous. That's not going anywhere. But what happened was I wasn't using any and I wasn't using any because I was conscious of the fact that I didn't mean to have both. I never intended to have both. And because it was in the back of my head that I should be letting one of them go, it was stopping me from using either of them. So once having both of them was stopping me using either of them or enjoying either of them, then I knew that it was time to make the decision and let one go because there's absolutely no point to having two bags at this price setting that I'm scared to wear because I think one of them should be being sold because I don't feel right having both. So I have since used the 19 and since I made the decision to let this go, I have been using the 19 and loving it, but it was a very hard decision. And it's a very hard decision because even though they're both the same tweed, this tweed is absolutely fabulous. If you've watched my unboxing video of this, I make a disgrace of myself. I am so overly excited once I see the tweed. It's so special. It has this metal metallic glittery stitching that goes through it on the back and on the front and it's just it's just fab the 19 walk I think of all the walks is my favorite it has the CC it has the different hardwares and obviously it has this here as well this was the version that came with this little pouch now I split opinion whenever I unboxed this bag some of you guys liked the pouch, some of you didn't. I personally love the pouch hanging from it. I think that the pouch hanging from this is one of the elements that makes this very, very unique and I loved the look of it. But some of you had said, I think it ruins the classic look of it. I think it takes away from the bag and I really don't like the pouch. I think it's tacky. So the pouch is detachable, it comes off. So you can use this as a standalone Chanel SLG. I'm actually quite sad to let the SLG go, but I don't want to sell it without it being complete. And the reason for that is just, I just think this would be so handy and I would like this in my bag. I haven't used it because it was part of this bag and I, I knew that it wasn't sitting right with me having both. The hardware on this little piece is aged hardware as well. The only thing I will say where about this bag, this bag I bought from Dear Lux on Instagram. It does not have the authenticity card. It didn't have the authenticity card when I bought it. The price, it was it was sold as new, in new condition. The price they sold it at was slightly less than what a new condition one would be sold at because it didn't have the authenticity card. This tweet is extremely sought after. I have had quite a number of comments from you guys on past videos saying if I'm selling this, you would be interested in it. The difficulty with YouTube is if you don't leave your Instagram name, it can be very hard to comment or, or to contact people back on that. Plus I thought that this was probably the fairest way to do it was to list it in the vlog seal. I will post that I'm having the vlog seal in my community tab and on Instagram stories in advance. So as you guys will have had the opportunity to know that it's coming. So this will be sold with the dust bag and the care bucket, booklet and the box and the ribbon and the camellia and everything that comes with it apart from the authenticity card. It is still brand new inside. As I say, I have never used it. It still has the cards that Chanel used to fill on the back. You can see this is just, these creases are because of the way the bag closes. As you can see, it has the zip across here and then it has the the traditional walk space, this part, and it has this zip. If anybody is interested, obviously I can send you more photographs. It is absolutely fabulous. And the only reason that I am selling this is because I also have the 19 in the same fabric and obviously this will come with it as well. And it is your choice then if you use them separately or wear them together. This one I have thought long and hard about as well. All these bags I have, the second bag that I'm selling, I'm going to move now to Louis Vuitton and it's this. 
and I, I still am going in my mind back and forward about this bag. I bought this bag in New York on Fifth Avenue, so it obviously has a lot of sentimental attachment to me. I also love it. I love the burgundy colour. I love the twist bag. I'm a big fan of the twist. I still have a twist in there. But I just haven't reached for this bag. I did post it before on my stories and said I was thinking about selling it and then I took it down because I changed my mind. But to be honest, since I got the chain extended on my Chanel Classic Flap, I used to wear this bag crossbody across me to work with a coat on and it was the perfect bag for that type of for me, for that type of use. But since I've had the chain extended on the Chanel Classic Flap, I have been using that. And I obviously want to get the use out of that bag and I haven't been reaching for this bag. So I have decided that I'm going to let it go. I have used this bag. I would say that it is in good to very good to almost excellent pre-loved condition, but it has been used. It does have the normal scratches that you would yeah, the normal wear and tear because this lock obviously turns like this. So you would imagine that there would be signs of scratching from use on that turn lock. It also has on the back, when you open it, because of where it opens, there is some creasing here and here from the bag opening. But that is basic it apart from that it is in fabulous condition the inside of it is very clean it is this light pink soft new book it still has the little not to blind everybody the little mirror that comes with it I have the original receipt from New York for this I am sure I still have the dust bag and the box somewhere so it will be sent with all of that I will put the price of this down below this is now selling, I believe, for around about 2,600-ish pounds, maybe 2,700 pounds. Obviously, this is pre-loved condition, so the price that this will be selling for, I think, will be a fabulous opportunity for somebody to get one of these bags that is in very, very good condition, has been well looked after at a very good price. The next bag that I am selling is back to Chanel, and I am selling my quite new... <laughs> Chanel Deville. When I see that, when I hold this bag up and see this in the viewfinder, I'm thinking, am I mad? Because this bag is stunning. And as I hold it up, I'm changing my mind as I sit here. But the reality is that I just haven't used this bag. When I bought this bag, I really, really wanted this bag. It was on my wish list and I wanted this specific version. This is the pink with the metallic thread that goes through it with this beautiful Chanel writing. It almost glitters. It's so, so stunning. And I wanted the size that also has the strap handles here and then it has the chain. This is the full chain with the fabric through it. This is the version that the little circles do not come out. I know there was, I think there was an older version that had a bar that it could, you could take the handles off. You cannot take the handles off on this bag. It still has the plastic over the hardware here, as you can see, and it is in fabulous condition. Why am I selling this? I don't even really know when I look at it in the, in the camera. The reason I'm selling this is when I bought this bag, I promised myself that I would buy this bag and I would very quickly decide if I was using it, if I had a use for it, and if I was swapping out of my Neverfull GM for this bag. When I showed it to you guys, it probably looks like I unboxed this not very long ago. I had actually had it, and I think I said it in the unboxing. I'd had it in my wardrobe for months and months and months before then. The difficulty is where I live, there is not a huge amount of time in the year where you could use a very large pink fabric bag. Had this been a mini, because I obviously have like, there's a tweed mini there. If it you get caught in the rain or the weather turns, you can always tuck that under your coat or tuck that up your jumper if it really starts to rain. You can't do that with a bag this size. So I had bought this before Christmas last year. I think there's probably been a price increase on this since, which will benefit you guys. I had kept it in the wardrobe because during our autumn, winter, and even into spring this year, there was no way you could have used this bag. And then whenever I did bring it out coming into summer, I used it one weekend, I went to a spa weekend, and I took some photographs of it that you will have seen 
in my Instagram if you follow me on Instagram and that is the only time I have used this bag. I haven't swapped out of my Never Full for it. I haven't reached for it and I think what that tells me is I don't have the need for two very large tote bags and because I get ridiculously, ridiculously attached to things, I promised myself when I bought this that if it didn't work out, I would sell it before I became attached to it. Now, if I look at it and the beauty of the bag as it sits here, this would encourage me not to sell it because it is really, really stunning. But it is too much money for me to keep just because I like the look of it and I'm not actually using it. It does say around the circles here, it says Rue de Cambon, Paris. And it is really in fabulous condition. Obviously, if anybody is interested in this bag, I can send you photographs and I can send you videos of it to show you the condition, but it's in fabulous condition. Mine, it is stuffed. I have kept it stuffed to keep the shape, but the, I take all of that out of it. The inside is very clean. It is a 20, it is a 27 series and it obviously comes with the authenticity card this will come with the authenticity card and the dust bag i did not buy the box whenever i was getting the ship to me just because the box for these are so huge and the shipping costs that it would add on i bought this from the story of lux on instagram a consignment store I will sell this on for exactly what I paid for it, even though I do think there has been a price increase, but I'm not here to try and make money off any of you guys. So again, I will check what I paid for this and I will sell it for the exact same amount, plus shipping, obviously, and I will work out the conversion in British pounds, as which I would have paid for it in USD and in euros. And that is number three, that is being sold. The last bag that's being sold, and again, I can't believe I'm selling this. I, I would assume anyone that clicked on this probably didn't think I would be letting go of so much, but I am also going to sell my Nano Speedy. I know, I know, I know, I know. Oh, why am I selling the Nano Speedy? I don't know. Every time I've thought about selling the Nano Speedy, I would try it on and I would think, oh no, I'm not selling that, that's fab but I still wouldn't use it. And the reality is I just haven't used this bag. I obviously have the multi pochette in the monogram and I also have the Palm Springs Mini in the monogram. And the reality is that I have reached for both of those before I've reached for this. I just haven't used it. I think I've said in another video, I bought this really because I wanted to have it because it's a mini speedy, it's a nano speedy. And I think I got caught up in that whenever it was released. And I think I got carried away and bought it for the wrong reasons, maybe. And I think I've said that in another video. Another reason that's playing on my mind to make me sell this is I cannot get out of my mind the Petite Mal. And I know it's a very different type of bag, but it's another monogram bag. Although that one's a much, much dressier bag. But I just can't really justify having the Multi Pochette, the Palm Springs Mini, the Nano Speedy, and still thinking about the Petite Mal whenever this one just isn't getting worn. I think I have used this bag once and I think I used it to walk my dog. Um, that's the extent of it. It is an absolutely excellent, excellent pre-loved condition. It's as new because I have used it genuinely once. I believe it's made in Italy. Yes, it's made in Italy. It's perfectly clean inside. There is no marks or anything on the fascetta and when I store this bag I store it on those shelves with the strap out flat behind the other bag so there's no kinking or anything in the strap the hardware and everything is in perfect condition now this I will be selling slightly above retail and it is not because I'm trying to make money on my subscribers it's because I paid way above retail for this I got caught up in this bag, as I said, I seen it and I got caught up in it. I wanted to have it, which is bad, bad, bad advice if someone's looking to buy a handbag. And I bought it from Lux Lover on Instagram. So it's 110% authentic, but it was being sold at the time way above retail and I paid way above retail for it. I am going to lose money on this bag because I'm not going to sell it for what I paid for it. I don't think I could just, I just couldn't, I, I just couldn't, I couldn't ask you for what I paid for this, even though it's, it's as new, I just couldn't. So this will be slightly above retail, 
it will not be what it's being sold on most resale sites or consignment stores or fashion file. It will be much, much lower than that. It will be much lower than what I paid. I will be losing quite a bit of money on this, but I want to sell it on at a reasonably fair price rather than asking you what I paid for it. So if anyone's looking at it and sees that it's above retail, and is thinking anything about that, that is the reason why it is above retail, but do know that it is much less than what I paid for it. So that is the last bag that is for sale today, and that is the Nano Speedy. Thank you so much for joining me on this vlog sale. Anybody that is interested in anything, just send me an email or a DM and I will give you shipping costs, more photographs, anything that you need about any of these items. You have my word that they will be shipped securely, they will be tracked, they are authentic. And I hope that anyone that is contacting me to buy any of these items acts and is doing so in the same way and that it's genuine and it's an easy sale because I am a little bit weary about this. There are so many stories out there about it going wrong. I hope you've liked the items that we have. There is more than what I thought. I am, I, as I say, I'm normally terrible at letting things go. So I hope, uh, I hope this was worth the wait. Thank you so much for being here. Please take care and I will see you again in the next one.